We can do whatever we want. Hey, little mama. One kiss, $25. Were your parents related, like before they were married? You're a jackass! Forever, 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 ever, forever, ever, forever, never seems that long until you... So the topic today is the most underrated Nintendo games ever, right? So... My boy Sean decided, yo, listen, I gotta tell you guys about the shit y'all been sleeping on for all these years, okay? And we're gonna get into the first game, which is... So the first one is Super Mario World 2 Yoshi Island. Okay, so I've, I've never even... <laughs> I've never even seen, heard about this game, but this looks lit already. I'm like, I can't even count. The story's about Baby Mario and Yoshi, I bet. Hey, where have I heard that? What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, where is that from? That can't be just from here. That is crazy right now. I've heard this song. Where have I heard this? I feel like I've heard it on TV somewhere or something. This is bringing back some fucked up shit. Okay, so... <clears throat> uh, Super Mario World 2. Yoshi's Island. Often gets cited by game critics as one of the best titles in the Super Nintendo history. But making that claim still doesn't do it any justice. The ingenuity and craft... Uh, craft living within every minute detail of yoshi island makes it perhaps the best 2d platform game in history and the genuine example of mario's magic across four decades of generation 40 years damn okay so he was obviously going crazy on uh, super mario world 2 yoshi's island's dick right so let's see what uh I, first of all this sound sounds really familiar. I don't know what the fuck it's from. Fuck, it's like, damn, what? It's like, I don't know. It's giving like Game Boy, you know, um, or maybe something like something on TV. I don't know. So let's see uh, the gameplay. I love Super Nintendo games. I've never even seen this game before. So as far as it being, I guess, underrated, very probably underappreciated because it was it didn't get that much buzz or or maybe it did i don't know bro. but super nintendo i think the top super nintendo games like mm, damn what was the top donkey kong country that's it <laughs> um all right let's go on to the next game the next game is <sighs> wario land shake it now i think my boy sean was just like Throwing them a bone, you know what I'm saying? Giving pity. I don't know. I never liked Wario games. They were always so random. <laughs> like one at one moment he'll be driving a car or a motorcycle or some shit. And I didn't know what what was the point of Wario games. But you know, as far as the Wii, I don't know. I feel like the Wii was just a great console. Like, you know, with the whole motion detections and all that shit. Oh, this looks like an anime. Now both this legendary treasure. And... Oh, that's, that's the Don Mario piping? This enchanting young queen belonged to me. Damn, human trafficking. Shit. Yo, who is this guy? Is this who Bar uh, Wario had to fight? I mean, yo, this must be Bowser's cousin because they got some shit like alike. They like to kidnap bitches and <laughs> keep them hostage and slaves. Uh, but no, this looks lit. I can't even cap. Like, just I haven't even seen any gameplay, but the intro is like cool. It's more like I don't know, like non fairy. Like it looks very fairy tale, but not like mario mario seems like you're in like a dreamland like yeah peach is stolen but yeah, look it's so beautiful this looks like he's living in the real world <laughs> and he got real problems he was sleeping in his car nobody's talking about wario sleeping in his car and shit bro 
Wario Land Shake It ended up as the final game in the, in the Nintendo's Wario Land franchise. Shake It utilized the motion controls on the Wii to perfection, and the Saturday morning cartoon graphics transported gamers back to their childhoods. Hmm. Okay. All right. I agree. <laughs> All right. So the next one is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. <laughs> like this is this was Sean's favorite game. He just had to throw that in there. You talk about the game that didn't make any sense, and you had to like what? It was like Guitar Hero be on beat to like I don't know progress through a level or some shit like that. Bro, this is for losers, bro. I'm sorry. Are you crazy? No, I already don't like it. If I'm not using a controller for this, I already don't like it. Ever since the Nintendo 64 era, Nintendo has neglected Donkey Kong. Hmm. They neglect a lot, but I feel you. Because, you know, when you have a game like Mario and then you have all these side characters like Donkey Kong and... What or did... Yeah, Donkey Kong, Wario, all these side characters like... Are you mad that the side character franchises didn't take off? Like, come on, bro. They're not Mario, bro. A rare instance of them throwing the ape... Throwing the ape a, sh a shred of attention came with Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Okay. Using the drum peripheral from Donkey Konga, Jungle Beat livened up the Donkey Kong Country Merchants... Oh, mechanics for a new generation. What? Okay, I, I got I got what he said. I was saying what to what I said, but no, okay, but that doesn't that no, like I hear you, <laughs> I hear you. Like yeah, it came back and it it finally came back and it came back with this unique and innovative way of playing it and yeah, but nobody really like I don't know like yeah, it was something new and innovative, but bro, come on, bro, this game looks at, like ass. The next one is Kirby's Epic Yarn. Okay. Now, I honestly have never played a Kirby game. I think I speak for a majority of the world <laughs> when I say uh, no one's played a real Kirby game. Like Kirby inspired with Kirby lore. I don't know. Yeah, I know Kirby from like Smash Bros, bro. I'm sorry. I would not be the one to tell you what's the requirements for a good Kirby game. Seeing this is really cool. Like, I obviously it's probably computer automated, but this looks really dope actually. And the artists should definitely get props for this because this looks like a whole masterpiece. <clears throat> okay, Sean says... Kirby's epic yarn departed from the traditional platforming in the Kirby's franchise by softening the difficulty and focusing on atmosphere and graphical innovation. Much like Paper Mario, much like the Paper Mario series, Kirby's epic yarn artfully hugs the gamer with nostalgia and colorful details. Plenty of extra items to collect ramp up the difficulty for those who want a more of a challenge. Yeah, for sure. Um, wow, look at that. <laughs> no, nah, just by design, I would say this is dope as fuck. Like, this is just dope as fuck. The next game is Super Mario Bros. 2. Super Mario Bros. 2. Hey. Oh, Super Mario Bros. 2 skewed in the opposite direction of the first NES classic. With more weight... With more weight to the platforming and variety of characters such as Luigi, Peach, and Toad to choose from. The sequel took a lot of courageous chances that aged well with gamers across many different generations. Today, it remains one of the most underrated Nintendo games despite its wide influence. So the next game is a uh, Pilot Wings. And this time, okay, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to entertain it. Because it's the, for the 64. And the 64 doesn't put out trash. So we're going to give this one a look. We're going to see what it's about. We're not going to be judgmental. P 
Pilot Wing 64 sat in the towering shadow of Super Mario 64 when it was released on the Nintendo 64, but those who wanted to experience an Wait, but, but for those who wanted an experience outside of the Mushroom Kingdom found a whole lot of awesome gameplay. Players could fly around in dramatic depth and feel like gaming was taking a new step forward into the 3D era of the mid-1990s. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give pilot wings a pass. Uh simply because of the 64 and its graphics and the world and how it looks. Nah, I'm not giving this shit a pass, bro. Fuck <laughs> that. This is not underrated, bro. This shit is ass, bro. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Once he gets to the floor, you, you, it, it stops and he has to go to... He has to fly again. You can't run around. You can't do anything. The next game is F-Zero. Is that... Is that Captain Falcon? No, that's Batman. Okay. Captain Falcon is such a loser. Why are you so... Why are you dressed up like that, bro? You... You... Great Sega Man ass thing, bro. <laughs> like, why he's so, why he's so dressed up and shit, bro? He want to flex on people so bad, bro. F Zero is better than Mario Kart. So I, I, I definitely understand the crave. Like, obviously, the art style, amazing. Really, that's what, that's what gets people, man. Just if you can captivate the eyes, what does the story or anything matter? But, you know, Mario has story, the visually pleasing, great character developments. So it's really hard to compete with Mario. It's just not fair. Things like F-Zero is obviously going to get, like, you know, looked. It's not going to get its look because you got niggas like Captain Falcon walking around looking like great, great second man in the city. Nobody's fucking with that, bro. The next game is Sin and Punishment. Uh, I never heard of this game, so let's see what Sean had to say about this. The original Sin and Punishment was never... <clears throat> the original Sin and Punishment was never released in the United States, but Sin and Punishment's star successor made up for that mistake. The sequel on the Wii provided a fantastic on-rail shooting shooter experience for Nintendo fans and a second signature game in the series. Oh, they're rail shooters. Oh, okay, okay. Now I understand. A rail shooter. So I didn't know that was the classification of um, <clears throat> Star Fox. Star Fox is a rail shooter, meaning like they can, um, they constantly just move and then you just kind of control the where the, the aiming and the shooting goes. Okay, that makes sense. What is that, Entei, nigga? Oh, no. Nah. Fuck that. Harvest Moon 64 is the next game. Like I said, man, anything on the 64, bro, <laughs> it's just, I, I, I'm always giving it a pass because it's just, it's just lit. <clears throat> Harvest Moon 64 was one of the most important titles in Nintendo's quest to enter the simulation genre. A farming game with a plethora of lifestyle activities and cute characters, Harvest Moon 64 led to more popular titles like Animal Crossing and even Nintendo Dogs. Oh no, I would've loved this game. It's already given Pokemon. Like, literally Pokemon, actually. <laughs> He wiped himself off, bro. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this game. This is lit. All right, so the next one is a uh, <clears throat> Geist or Geist. Geist, Geist. Hmm. Nintendo hardly ever departs from a family-friendly tone in its games. Geist gives the fandom a rare M-rated action title on the Wii. Themes such as ghosts, spirits, and horror all make this adventure game a good attempt at Nintendo crawling out of its comfort zone. Wow. So let's see. It, it, was, it was made by Nintendo. So let's definitely see what they made. All right. Let's, let's look into the, the dark mind of Nintendo. You know, uh, what's that game? Gears of War. Whoa.
Damn. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so the next game is X No X No Blade. X No Blade Chronicles. Now my brother used to play this actually. He loved it. So I'm gonna say it probably is underrated. X No Chronicles enjoy pretty high sales nowadays, but the original game on the Wii deserved the same type of hype <clears throat> the ensuing sequels received. This this excellent RPG innovated with some of Nintendo's best exploration segments and open world levels and it's also <clears throat> and it also seems that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild oh learned a lot from this game. The world was nothing more from this than game? an endless sea. RPG? Cloaked How? In a boundless sky. How? Yo. No, this is lit. Oh, oh, I like this. I like this. This looks dope as fuck. What the fuck? This is not your typical RPG. Oh, gosh. Kid Icarus, bro. Do they ever give up on these side characters? Hands down, one of the most underrated Nintendo games. Kid Icarus Uprising <clears throat> introduced a lot of gamers to Pit, a character usually only identified for his appearance in Super Smash Bros. The engaging 3D shooter and gorgeous stereoscopic graphics made this game one of the best on the Nintendo 3DS. Although the controls made it difficult for left-handed players to play. You're right. We were sleeping on Pit. Them other Kid Icarus games wasn't it, bro. But this one? This one looks lit as hell. We have Star Fox Assault. Star Fox Assault. <clears throat> I agree that this game was also like very underrated. Nintendo made one attempt at a Star Fox 64 sequel. Star Fox Assault. The three-pronged gameplay of ship of of spaceship, tank and on foot shooting made this arcade style game cube game a fun science fiction romp with an immense replayability see like what is romp r-o-m-p romp what the hell what, what is that <laughs> romp no i agree every time i saw this game i thought it looked cool as shit and i can't even count but i didn't have a freaking gamecube man so the last game is we music <laughs> all right you know you gotta throw like just a random one in there you know Man, that, that Wii sound was nostalgic. Shigeru Miyamoto made sure to let everyone know that Wii Music was one of his passion projects. The game doesn't always come across as a completely polished masterpiece like most of Miyoto, Miyo, Miyamoto's games. But kids and adults alike surely got enjoyment from a musical experience on the Wii. Using the Wii Fit balance board and the motion controls for drums provides the gamer with the best play mode. <sighs> Listen, after hearing this dude mumble like that for a couple minutes, I per I'm just not interested in this. <laughs> I was gonna say, <clears throat> Conquer Bad Friday is like the most underrated game for Nintendo, but technically it's a rare game, so doesn't really count my bad. my bad i just really came to play could a check keep it moving what's next all my people like to talk smoke we want it all in no less i just really came to flex, came to flex. couple diamonds on my neck all on my neck